This is the Blue Rescue Team speaking from Hanoi, Vietnam. We are a group of five ninth graders having the same concern about marine debris. Our campaign started six months ago since we all had our own awareness on marine debris. Our country, Vietnam, is ranked fourth worldwide for having the greatest amount of plastic marine debris. There is 90 million tons of plastic waste dumped into the ocean annually. And in average, a single household in Vietnam uses up to one kilogram of plastic bag a month. Through our project's investigation phase, we found out these interesting facts. Firstly, every student uses up to not five non-recyclable items every day. Secondly, in the cafeteria, about 100 plastic straws and lids are used every day. Thirdly, through interviews, not many students have known much about the pollution caused by plastics. And we realized that we, as students, can do something to address this current issue. And so, we created a series of activities relating to this problem. First and foremost, we made a button in the cafeteria which students will be asked to press by the employees of the Fresh Garden for every plastic-free purchase. And every press stands for a ship in perception and action. And so we set a goal of having 1,000 presses on the button. Next, we made a marine debris facts corner in the hallway which has its content updated twice a week giving a great insight for students about marine debris. Last but not least, we have created various artwork around the school to illustrate the current marine debris issue. Our most outstanding piece has been placed at the middle of our school lobby, being the central of attention of the students and the people who enter the lobby. After one month running this campaign, these are our achievements. We have achieved 600 presses on the button, which is the majority of the students at our school. And through interviews, we noticed a general improvement in school knowledge about marine debris. Throughout our progress, we faced many issues. First of all, we had to sell program reviews by the cafeteria. This made the project less appealing to students. However, we thought that if the students press the button without having a discount, they showed that they pressed the button to show their care and their awareness about the program and about various debris. Also, we didn't have the attention from our friends. Posted and news did not always work, so we have to change our way of promoting this project. We went to each, to each class and held a 45 minute event for 300 students in total, put on posters in every single class. All of these have brought more positive results and response from the students. Finally, we just want to say thank to the competition as an opportunity for us to learn a lot, to improve and broaden our knowledge on pollution through the project. We have learned all the ways to partner with serious big companies that was really challenging in terms of time management, knowledge, and confidence because this is our first time. However, we strived, we tried our best to work with each other every day. We have adjusted this project, downscaled it to make it possible. And that's our story.